Apis mellifera hmm. or Apis mellifera? Your backyard beekeeper here with honeybeemade.tv recording here in studio honeybee. Why? Because it's February. It's cold. There's snow on the ground and I don't feel like recording outside. Apis, apis, tom apis, apis, tomato, tomato, whatever your pick is, it comes right down to this. It is the honeybee, the European honeybee. Apis mellifera means honey carrying bee, which to me doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense because when honeybees and worker bees go out and forage, they forage for nectar, pollen, and propolis. Did you know that the honeybee is not native to North America? It is not native to the United States. In fact, the early settlers brought them over in 1622 to Jamestown to be exact. These were the German black bees. Native Americans called them the white man's fly. Just like there are different breeds of dogs, did you know that there are different races of honeybees? It's true, all honeybees in the United States came from the old world, Europe. In fact, all these honeybees have similar traits or characteristics. That's why they fall into the scientific name of Apis mellifera. So today I have a top five list of honeybees that I'm going to talk about. There are many honeybees, but I picked five to talk about that Mm, seem familiar to me that I hear the names an awful lot and you will too as beginning beekeepers and this may help you decide on what honeybee to manage in your backyard. Coming in at number five is the Caucasian honeybee. This honeybee is silver gray to dark brown in color. What is really unique about this particular honeybee, this has a longer tongue than most other honeybees. That allows them to gather nectar from other types of plants and flowers that other honeybees can't get to. These honeybees are originally near the Caspian Sea. Because of the area they're from, they're highly tolerant to colder temperatures. Probably because of the colder temperatures, they produce much more propolis to seal the cracks so that that cold weather doesn't come in. Because they're from a colder climate and they're used to this, they are much easier to overwinter. Coming in at number four are the Russian bees. Always in a hurry, rushing around. Yeah. The Russian bees are from the Primorsky region of Russia, which is also the home of the Varroa mite destructor and the tracheal mites, which the Russian bees have been able to develop a natural defense against these mites. Because they're from a colder region, they overwinter very well. These girls are a little bit more aggressive but not necessarily stinging. They see you coming around or any unwanted creature, they're gonna do a lot of headbutting. That's what they like to do. Don't get me wrong, they probably sting quite a bit, but uh, they like to do a lot of headbutting. Coming in at number three are the buckfast bees. These bees are yellow to brown in color, resistant to tracheal mites. They do very well in cool climates and are very gentle and easy to work with. They are excellent honey producers. Cold, wet winters are the norm from where they are from, so these bees are accustomed to building up their nest quickly in the springtime. Coming in at number two are the Carniolan bees. These bees are dark with spots or bands on their abdomen. They're slightly smaller than the other races of honeybees. These girls come from the Austrian Alps, Yugoslavia, and the Danube Valley region. These girls are more likely to forage for pollen and nectar on cold, wet, rainy days than all the other bees, and they rank among the best for overwintering. They are a little more likely to swarm, so beekeepers, you're going to want to keep ahead of the game and keep extra boxes on them so it doesn't give them an opportunity to swarm. Give them plenty of room. These girls do very well when it comes to defending their hives against pests and diseases. And coming in at number one are the Italian bees. These girls are from the Apennine Peninsula of Italy and were introduced to America in 1859, replacing the original German black bees brought over by the settlers. 
The Italian bees are one of the most popular bees brought into America for beekeepers to use. They're known for being gentle and great honey producers. So those are the top five picks from your backyard beekeeper to talk about today. The Italian, Carniolan, Buckfast, Russian, Caucasian. So what are the best honeybees for a new honey beekeeper to keep? My thoughts are on that is the Italian, Carniolan, or Buckfast. Thanks for tuning in to HoneybeeMade.tv. I'm your backyard beekeeper, Burt Beebe, and we'll catch you on the B-side.